Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install PKGJ, um, which is basically a free shop for the PS Vita. So, um, basically, if you guys are interested, what you want to do is you want to open up Vita Shell. You then want to go to the root of it, press select, and then connect your PS Vita to your PC via the FTP server or via USB cable, and then I'll show you guys what to do next on the PC. Alright guys, so once you're on your PC, there will be two links in the description of this video. The first link is just the PKGJ um, VPK file. So all you want to do, you want to get this one right here, the 828 kilobytes one. So just click the file and it will begin downloading. So the second file you want to get is a config file and I have this uploaded to Mega. So all you want to do is just click download and it's literally 216 bytes and that will download in a second. So once you've got these two files downloaded, all you want to do is just head over to your PC's downloads folder. And then basically guys, you want to create a new folder and call it PKGI. Um, just like that, not J at the end, I at the end instead. And then you want to put the config folder inside of the PKGI uh, folder. Just like that. Basically, in the config folder, it has all of these websites for you to connect to. Uh, you can either put these in yourself, but it's just easier to download it. So once you have got the VPK and the file, what you want to do is make sure your PS Vita is connected via USB or FTP, and then you simply drag these onto the root. So mine are already on there, so there's not much point in me doing it. So here's my uh, PKGI folder, and then here's my PKGJ.VPK. So once you've got these files on, you can disconnect your PS Vita from your PC and I will show you guys what to do next. Right, so once you're back on your PS Vita, you can close this message by pressing circle and then you want to select your memory stick or your SD to Vita. Uh, my memory stick is the UX01, so I'm going to select that. Then I just want to scroll all the way down. Make sure that your PKGI folder is showing, so there is mine. And then I'm just going to look for my PK. Uh, GJ folder, well the VPK file. So on the VPK file, press X on it. So then go and say, do you want to install this package? Press X for yes. So then go to start installing, just press X again. If you have problems while installing, it's because you have um, unsafe homebrew um, turned off. So you need to turn it on in the PSV to Henkaku settings. But once that is installed, you can just press circle to go back. Then just press the PlayStation Vita home button. And now you can completely close out Vita shell. So here it is on my home screen. It's basically got um, PKG on the file. Uh, just press X to launch into it, and then just press X for start. Okay, so mine just loaded up like this. If yours is not displaying all of the games and stuff like that, what you want to do is press triangle to access the menu. You then want to scroll down, and when you get to the refresh option right here, and it's displaying in green, just press X, and everything will refresh and reload. Okay, so mine's just done refreshing right now, and let's just see, so um, if you install a PS1 game, it actually goes into your Adrenaline emulator, um, that's the same with a PSP game, so you can pretty much tell. Um, if, you, if you look right down here in the corner, it tells you how much free space you have, uh, that's just so you know, so you don't install too much. So let me just press triangle, um, I'm going to go into show, let's show you PSX games. Okay, now we can find a game that I wish to install. Um, let's just get... Oh, also, if you have a game already, it will show like this, with just like a dot next to it. So let me find a game, um, advancedv.g. Let me just install that, just for the sake of this video. And if you have a look down here, um, it will start installing. And it tells you how much it's done. So mine's already on 20%. So I'm just going to let this download. And then I'll show you guys the PlayStation 1 game in my Adrenaline emulator. Okay, so once the game is finished installing, you can just press the PlayStation button. And now you can completely close out of it. Now, if you get um, a PS1 game like me, you will need the Adrenaline emulator. So I'm just going to start that up real quick. Now, if I go over to my memory stick, um, was this the game I got? Yeah, okay, yeah, it was Japanese, so this is probably the game I got. I had no idea what it was. 
so yeah, obviously the game works. Um, I'm not going to play it to be honest, it was just for this video. But anyway, that is pretty much it for this video. So that is how you install basically the free shop for the PS Vita. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.